These are the modern horror masterpieces that reminded us why we're afraid of the dark. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and in this installment of Versus, we're pitting Amnesia The Dark Descent against Outlast to see which is the scarier of the two games. Round 1, Story. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. In Amnesia, you awaken in the seemingly abandoned castle of Brandenburg as an amnesia-stricken Englishman by the name of Daniel who must venture deep into the darkness of the stronghold to not only recover his lost memories, but also outrun the monsters that inhabit the castle. As he begins to put the pieces together, Daniel's own morality comes into question, not to mention the reveal of an artifact known as the Orb, whose overwhelming power threatens to tear open the fabric of space and time itself. It's always been your life you were fighting for. No, don't do that. In Outlast, you play as an investigative journalist called Miles, who infiltrates the Mount Massive Asylum after receiving a message about the atrocities committed there. What he finds is that the inmates have taken over, and not only are they violent and insane, but experimentation has turned them into hideous creatures that want nothing more than to kill. Only able to run and record the horrors he finds, Miles must try to escape while coming face to face with the likes of the grotesque Chris Walker, sadistic Dr. Traeger, and the enigma known as Project Wallrider. The Dark Descent certainly starts off strong, as the frightening nature of the castle and the mystery of Daniel's amnesia are intriguing, but Outlast's non-stop scare train of a story not only keeps us terrified, but also intrigued as we struggle to survive, leading to a bittersweet but oddly fitting conclusion. Winner, Outlast. Round 2, Gameplay. In Amnesia, the darkness is just as much of a threat, so in order to survive, players must keep their lantern lit at all times with oil and tinder to keep their sanity at a steady level. As for the monsters, there's no way to fight back against them, so the only chance players have is to run. A great deal of time is also spent on exploration and puzzle solving. In order to progress, players must often find a way to start various mechanisms, search for notes in order to recover Daniel's memories, and of course, uncover the history of the orb. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you! In Outlast, Miles' lifeline is his video camera, more specifically the night vision setting that allows him to see incoming enemies. As such, finding batteries is a must. The gameplay is much more linear in nature, but the claustrophobic setting, abundance of enemies, and fast pace ensures that each level is never a chore. Much more focus is given to the running and hiding mechanic, since you're often going to have a murderer on your tail. More often than not, the only thing standing between you and death is a single locker. <laughs> the uneasiness we feel upon entering a new room while hunting for tinder does work to Amnesia's advantage but there's no denying that Outlast's gameplay is far more polished, especially when it comes to the bread and butter of any horror game, running like hell. Winner, Outlast. Round three, level design. Castle Brandenburg is not a place that you want to spend a weekend at. The rustic feel of the stone walls and age-old rooms might not seem that scary, but as soon as you start heading down to the lower levels, you'll find there's a lot more to be afraid of. Rooms built for torture, corridors crawling with gatherers, and of course the infamous flooded cellar, home to the invisible beast that responds to the slightest movement. Even the less grisly features, such as the dark forest outside the castle, only highlight just how alone and vulnerable you really are. We took the coach, went there. Our visit was unexpected. On the other hand, Mount Massive Asylum is a place that has gone to the dogs, and evidence of that can be seen across every blood-soaked hallway. Most of the wards blend together, housing the traumatized and murderous inmates, though some notable exceptions include a rundown prison where you meet the terrifying and naked twins, as well as the location of Project Wildrider. 
It may be a lot cleaner, but that's little consolation when there's a vengeful artificial spirit out to rip out your insides. Outlast levels definitely serve their purpose in creating a toxic and fearful atmosphere, but the sheer amount of variety you'll find in Amnesia is bound to stick with you for a lot longer. Uh, trust me, you'll be having nightmares about that flooded cellar long after you turned the game off. Winner, Amnesia. Round 4, Legacy. What Amnesia gave the gaming community almost overshadows the game itself. Despite spawning a rather mediocre sequel in the form of Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs, the inclusion of a custom story feature allowed players to put their own imprint on the series with spin-off games of their own making. As such, there are hundreds of custom stories out there that range from decent to downright outstanding. <laughs> As a horror game, The Dark Descent will always be fondly remembered, but perhaps its greatest contribution was encouraging the creativity of its fans. No such custom stories exist for Outlast, but what we did get is a DLC on par with, if not better than the original. There's also a much anticipated sequel on the horizon, and its demo is pretty much assured to scare your pants off. In Outlast Whistleblower, players take on the role of the software engineer working on Project Wall Rider, who sent Miles the tip about the terrible things going on. If you need proof as to why this stands above the rest, you need look no further than the character of Eddie Gluskin. No! Ah! No! Don't! Please! Ah! God! While Outlast certainly offered a decent follow-up on the horizon, you just can't compete with the hundreds of spin-offs all based around one game. Winner, Amnesia. Round 5, Scare Factor. The Gatherers and the Unseen Water Monster have become modern classics in video game horror. Accompanied by that ear-piercing scream, many a gamer was left terrified when they saw that gaping-mouthed monstrosity limping their way towards them. Along with the threat of the shadow randomly appearing in the form of fleshy residue to block the player's way, there was plenty of scares to go around here. However, once you enter the Asylum of Outlast, the game pretty much becomes a buffet of heart attacks. From all the random inmates leaping out at you, Chris Walker and the twins constantly hunting you down, and yes, that infamous encounter with dear old Dr. Traeger, who kindly cuts your fingers off with a giant pair of scissors. You paying attention? <laughs> Whether it's jump scares, the visceral imagery, or the genuine fear of who or what is around the next corner, there's never a moment in Outlast where you let your guard down. Darling, can't hide from me. Amnesia has several iconic scares that no player will forget in a hurry, but it can't compete with the ferocity and frequency of Outlasts, because practically every single one of them hits their mark. Winner, Outlast. Outlasting the descent into darkness by just a hair, we have to give the crown of scares to Red Barrel's magnum opus. So, what do you think of our verdict? Did we pick the right one? Be sure to debate in the comments, and for more great versus battles and other content published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.